Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, this episode is all about the Lagoon Table. And if you watched the last episode from last week about my Kessel Run, an homage to Star Wars, of course, from the West Coast to the East Coast, at the tail end of that, you saw me opening up the box for my Lagoon Table. So um, I'm going to put that together today and get that uh, all set up. And if you know anything about a lagoon table, you know that uh, it doesn't come with a tabletop. It just comes with the hardware so you can adjust it and whatnot, but no tabletop. So I went and picked up a, a beautiful, I was going to say nice, but it's beautiful piece of wood. In fact, I've got it right here. I'll show you. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is teak. And um, I got teak because it's really good in, uh, you know, marine uses or outdoor uses. So it can handle rain, it can handle moisture. And uh, sometimes I get some moisture in the van and I could have gone with anything really, but this is also beautiful. So this is it guys. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's get the show on the road. Cool. Nice. Right, let's see if this guy works. All right, so this guy will go on next, yeah? This guy goes right through here. There we go. I'm not even going to tighten him up yet. That will go up and down. Right now, it's all the way up. Um, let's take a look at that board on top of here. Nice. Oh no. Yeah, so it looks like we need a little more clearance. A little more clearance. Okay, we'll shim that. So we got a template here uh, made out of cardboard and uh, we're gonna use that to determine where to, where to put the board, whether we're gonna bolt it center, whether we're gonna cut it in half and have a piano hinge uh, so that I can store it and put it away for later up against the bed. It's going to be great. So we're going to play around with that a little bit and see what happens. Stay tuned. So last episode, I left you with Rappa Scrapple and I asked if anybody knew what that was. Okay. I'm going to tell you what it is. Basically it is pressed pork product. It's, it comes in a cube and they just take everything that you don't use for the bacon and the loin and the pork chops and all the other stuff, all the leftover tidbits, and they smush them together into a loaf. You slice it, you fry it, and you put it on a sandwich or you use it instead of bacon. Ugh. I will say that when I was younger, I was not vegetarian, and as a child, we would eat this on occasion. It is tasty, there's no doubt about it, but thinking back on it now, there's no way you could get me to eat that now. I am vegetarian, but on top of that, even if I was a meat eater, no thank you. I went to the store and got a shot for you guys. You should check it out. It'll give you a better idea. piece of teak wood and I really wanted to use that as my tabletop and I might in the future but what I've discovered is that of course I need to cut it because it's too big for this space and one of the reasons I'm gonna hold off on that is because I don't feel like using a circular saw is going to give it a nice edge and uh, I really want it to look nice plus it was a little thick so I thought I thought maybe I would put that I wouldn't do it but I know somebody who has the tools and the know-how to put it through a planer so it would be a, a little less thick. 
Um, so maybe in the future I might do something, but in the meantime, I still need a functional table. So uh, I picked up a piece of um, pine spruce and I'm gonna use that for now and, and I'll, I'll show you what I got. Let's try that again. Sometimes I start talking, I don't know what I'm talking about. What I meant to say is spruce pine fir. This is it, right? Okay, so I just bought it. It's nothing special. Um, and I'm gonna use that and uh, I'm gonna put that on my lagoon table for right now. Let's get to it. Might as well do it now. Okay, bad news. Um, I can't find screws that came with my lagoon table. I don't know what I've done with them. I have said it before and I'll say it again. Just because you live in a small space does not mean that you don't lose things. Or maybe that's just me. I lose stuff in here all the time and it's so frustrating because you would think it's so small. There's not many places you could tuck things away, but there are. There's lots of nooks and crannies. Uh, so I've looked everywhere. I can't find them. So I can't put the tabletop on tonight. Um, so you'll just have to wait until the next episode. I'm going to put that tabletop on. Um, I also have a little bit of a problem with the vertical, uh, support. It's not holding and, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. So I think I might have to call Lagoon and talk with them. Maybe, uh, they have some ideas. Um, because what's happening is the, the whole table will kind of like gradually shift down and I tighten up the, uh, the knob, but you're not supposed to over tighten it. And I think I might've over tightened it. I don't know. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it's not a big deal. It's just a table and I'm going to get all that squared away next episode. But one thing I did want to ask you guys is I have this, um, this new round tabletop, but it's basically bare wood. Do you think I should stain it or maybe paint it? I don't know. I've already got a lot of white, um, cream colors in the van. So I don't know that I really want to paint it white, maybe like a wood stain. I don't know. You let me know, leave me a comment. Cause I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. Okay. Well, uh, you know, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care. I'll see you down the road. Bye everybody.